wear it as a badge, you know, Taylor Swift amnesia. They're calling it concert amnesia. People may only have short snippets of memory of the concert that they can't really tell you what it was like start to finish, but they can probably give you bits and pieces of it. I mean, there's a physiological basis for this with laying down of memories. If one has a whole lot of, you know, adrenaline and corticosteroids circulating because they're excited, they're jumping up and down, and this is the greatest thing ever. Those corticosteroids actually interfere. Yeah, you're not going to remember everything start to finish because of that. It happens not just at concerts, it happens throughout life, wedding days and such, the high emotionality, joy and flow of neurotransmitters. And it's great, but it can interfere with the laying down of memories. If you're gonna go to a concert, right, and you wanna process as much as you can, but hold on to it for later, I, I think the best way to do it is, is to maybe not get so caught up in the moment, practice a little mindfulness, you sort of step back, survey the crowd, take it all in, and what does it mean? And visual memories, there will also be emotional memories, maybe, that people can utilize to tune into for later recall. I think that actually will help. I would imagine that if we had the internet in um, whatever year it was that the Beatles arrived on shore and appeared at the, at the Ed <laughs> Sullivan show and, and toured America, pictures of screaming fans, that if we had people sharing online their experiences, that it would be somewhat similar.